So today I thought I'd talk about um, early season trout flies. So these are uh, trout flies for reservoir fishing. Um, boat fishing especially, but any reservoir fishing early in the season. The season's just about to start up, so let's have a wee look see what we've got. So the first fly, and I wouldn't be without this thing, is a tequila blob. Um, stay in the snow. I'm no surprise because it catches so many fish now. Um, I've got a particular way of tying them. I tie on a short shank hook, so it's got a wide gate, and fire range at the front, chartreuse at the rear, and you'll notice I've got a little bit of flash in there. That's a crinkle mirror flash. Um, it just catches the light, it's brilliant. That's usually my top dropper fly all the time. Um, so I'll change it, don't get me wrong, I'll chop it and change it, but nine times out of ten, that's that's my fly, um, the orange blob. It just catches so many fish. But there's times I'll fish two of these ten feet apart in a sinking line. It's just such a devastating fly. So that would be number one. Number two is very simple. It's a black booby. Black eyes, large foam eyes, going to go small stuff. You want to create a commotion early in the season. Black threats, black tail. Uh, again, I've got a little bit of that boosted cream called mirror flash. It just catches a light. It's a very, very good fly. Very, very good fly indeed. Um, there's something about black. It just works the whole season through. But for early in the season, you're looking at two things. You're looking at coloured water, silhouette, up against the surface. This works best. Um, and clear water. Sometimes when they go off colour, they'll pick at the black. Um, no colour in it. So that's why I like that one. So that's those two. What I tend to do is fish these. This is... This is my go-to starter. I mean, I'll go through everything at the end, but that's the go-to setup. Fast sink line, um, very fine top dropper blob, and I didn't fish middle droppers early in the season because you're, you're tending to fish for stocky, so one or two flies for me, um, and a black booby on the point just covers the layers better. Next fly we've got to talk about is, uh, needs no introduction, Cots whisker. Just an exceptional fly, I and mean, there's so many different variations of this thing, but it catches fish the year through. But early in the season, I love it for stockies. I've got a bright chenille body there, chartreuse. I like a, I like the, the bright orange head, and that's such a glow bright for us. And the white's as white as white can be, super, super white. I usually fish that in the top dropper. Um, yeah, top dropper for that one. You can stick jungle coat cheeks on it. So the plan would be that'd be the cast. If I wasn't fishing the blob, I'm looking for a more slimline fly that went off the blobs, I'd be fishing a cart. So that would replace the blob in the top dropper. That'd be my cast. Um, eight feet to the cart, uh, ten feet to the black booby. The next fly is, uh, it's just got the killer colour combinations that I love early in the season. That's a Viva. Just that bright, bright green tail, black body, silver ribbed to catch a light, black marabou. Um, it's as old as the hills, and there's a reason why we still use it. It just catches fish all the time. Early season, especially when the water's cold and the fish are deep, which is where they tend to be. They don't tend to be up, in, up high in the surface layer. They tend to sit about eight foot, 10 foot deep. Um, I like black and green. It's not just got that silhouette, but it's got that punch of color with the green tail. Um, yeah, good fly. Now, what I would do is, when the fish go off the colour, um, that would be my cast. So just those two flies. I very rarely fish three, like I say. That would be my two flies. I'd have the Viva and the top dropper, nice and slim line. Plus you can see that green butt as it comes up as you fish the arm, and then the booby on the point. The final fly, and I'll try and get a link up to this if I didn't, it's on my, my YouTube channel, The Nemesis. Um, I've caught so many fish in this fly, it's unbelievable. Now, a couple of things about this that's important. You need it big enough to act as a lure, but you didn't want it too big so it doesn't look like an nymph, if that makes sense. It's a kind of go between um, black tail, pearl body. Now, this is key. Some people tie this to my but I tie it to the seals for and pull it out, um, seals for the body. It's got a pheasant tail thorax and then that bright glow, bright head. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Now, I don't know whose this is, but I know the first person showed me was Tim Smith. Um, I used to work alongside Tim Smith, and he used to use it all the time early season in the reservoirs. But I think it 
it first came about in Sibley Park, whether that's true or no, I don't know. It's maybe me just guessing, but as an early season fly, again, it's got those key colours, um, the key colours that you find um, early season work really well, black and green. So to fish this one, he sits in the middle. I was fishing a three fly cast, that'd be my three fly cast. Okay, that's your three fly cast. Bob in the top dropper, eight foot for the end of the line, then six feet to this, then assist, then six feet to the booby. And I can fish those flies uh, through the water column. Quite often they'll follow the blob up, they'll turn down and they'll take the nemesis. Um, so that's that, the nemesis. Such a good fly with those colour combinations. So I mentioned at the start, when you're searching the, the reservoirs, basically you want to be near the bank and forget deep water. Just forget it. Unless you're a local and you know stuff that other people do, little islands, little inlets, little bit of structure, stick to around the shorelines. You're looking for water in depths of sort of 14 to 6 feet, anything shallow or not, forget it, the fish are under there, that's usually bare at the back end of last season, so it's just starting to get water over the top of it, there'll be no insects there, plus fish tend to like a specific depth early in the season. Um, I'd be on sinking lines, fast sinkers, slow sinkers, to see what the fish want, and what I tend to do is, I'll cast out and retrieve straight away, then give it 5, then give it 10, then give it 15, then retrieve, you're just searching through the layers until you find the fish. Um, but yeah, my first line of attack would be a fast sinker line because the fish have got to be down deep. You're better working from the bottom up towards the surface early in the season than you are working from the top down. So my number one cast, without fail, is this early in the season. Um, you've got the, the bright blob that just catches everything um, early season stock fish, but that blob will go to it resonant fish as well, as well as stock fish. Now, there'll be times then I'll just fish two of these, two blobs, a booby version, and, eh, sorry, two tequilas, a blob version and a booby version. Then the fish want colour, there's no much comes close. The other one that I'd be fishing, to go off the blobs, I tend to fish black and white. White cart in the top dropper, um, black booby on the point. When the fish don't want any colour, um, when they sort of go off the bright flies, there's your cast. You've got a weaver on the top dropper, that little nymphy nemesis in the bottom, uh, in the middle, sorry, and that booby on the point fly, and it just lets them all swing around perfectly. If you want a three fly cast early in the season, you'd be very tempted with this setup. So you've got two bright flies. This this cart slims away down to nothing um, in the water, where the blob will keep its bulk. That would be my three flies. You can mix it up. The other one I'd be tempted to do is have the cart on the point, blob on the top dropper, and again, I keep saying, my middle fly, early in the season, is always the nemesis. So I just, just mix it up. But what I would say, early season, you're looking for bright on the, your dropper, it's got to fish through the water column first, and back up first, and black on the point, and you shouldn't go far wrong. So that would be my uh, still water flies for early in the season. Really simple, really basic, um, but you get the idea there. And what I would also say is, don't go fishing with skinny line, fish thick. These thick, these fish are not finicky. They've not seen flies before. They're hungry. They've had a cold winter. Try these flies, sinking line, work through the layers, and you'll have a lot of success.